Hey guy, coming to the range was having a really tough time hitting the golf ball. Um, lots of shanks, lots of uh, balls that would go dead left. Very much steep on the way down, big divots. It was really lost on what to do. Um, and again, working a lot on what his body was trying to do with no, if little, effort on what the club should do. And so, um, <clears throat> I said, look, let me give you a little piece of advice. Um, worked with him just a little bit to help him understand what's going on. Gave him a little better posture, gave him a little better grip, help him get those two things better. Um, gave the, the club shaft a chance now to actually work more correctly. And what I like to do a lot of students is move them through the motion many times. That's where he used to be. That's kind of where I wanted to go. So basically trying to help him find the opposite of where he's been. I like to work in opposites, exaggerations, because they get there faster. Obviously way inside. And that's why I showed him here. That's where you're going. Help him feel where they're doing it and what I want them to feel. The exaggeration. So kind of the opposite loop. He had a loop in his golf swing before. We go in, up, and over. And all I did was help him find the opposite. More up, in, and under. Up, in, and under. Did those a few for him a few times. Got a little station here for him, for him to work with. A little station we set up for him with, with the alignment rods. And even though it's not perfect by any means, but obviously not way inside like it was. Nowhere near the, res the exaggeration I made, but he feels like this is his exaggeration. He feels like this is what he's doing here. But obviously in reality, he's nowhere near that, but a heck of a lot better than where he was nowhere near where he was. <clears throat> so, got a better path on the way back. Yeah, the cup's too far across the line, but that's okay for him. But he understands the cup needs to return more on this angle on the way down versus this angle. Now the reason why his head's going down, I think, has got nothing to do with his head going down. The club's going outside, which causes him to go down. But now he finds the back of the golf ball in the center of the face now. Not on the heel like it was before. Because it was so far outside, beyond the target line, there's no place he could hit it but close to the hill. Better ball flight, straighter, shallower divot. Off to the right, big old chunk in the ground. <clears throat> Another swings. He'd almost top it, miss it. So you move into shots like that, hitting shots like this. And obviously, my response to that was that's where we're going. That's a, there you go.